Well, tonight we are learning more details about an unexpected attack on U.S. forces in the Middle East. Earlier today, two commercial vessels and a U.S. warship caught in the crossfire of the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. News Nation's Emily Finn has the latest on the attack and who U.S. officials say is to blame tonight. Emily? Well, Natasha, Pentagon officials confirmed the attack happened just after 9 this morning in the Red Sea, carried out by Houthi rebels in Yemen. A U.S. warship and other commercial vessels were hit by drones and missiles in an hours-long battle. The Pentagon is now saying the Houthis, with backing from Iran, are responsible for the attacks. And here's how it all went down. After detecting an earlier ballistic missile attack against a U.K.-owned cargo ship, the USS Kearney, while in international waters, engaged in and shot down a UAV launched from Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen. CENTCOM confirming that the drone was, quote, headed toward the Kearney. Approximately 30 minutes later, the U.S. warship, while responding to another cargo ship's distress call, detected another inbound UAV, destroying the drone with no damage or injuries. Next, approximately three hours later, the USS Kearney responded to another distress call, and while en route to support, the Kearney shot down another drone headed in its direction. It was the third of its kind. A Houthi military spokesperson made an announcement today, claiming the Iranian-backed rebel group from Yemen targeted two vessels they believed were Israeli ships and vowed to continue fighting in the region as long as the war between Israel and Hamas continues. Yemen's Houthi rebels declared war against Israel in late October and have been firing drones and missiles at Israel ever since. The Houthis have been accused of receiving funding, weapons, and training from Iran, something that the group denies. They originally formed in the late 90s, and then started a war in Yemen in 2014, and they have the slogan, Death to America, Death to Israel, Curse the Jews, and Victory to Islam. CENTCOM called today's attacks a direct threat to international commerce and maritime security, saying they have every reason to believe that these attacks, while launched by the Houthis in Yemen, are fully enabled by Iran, and the U.S. will consider all appropriate responses. Our News Nation team will continue to monitor any additional details the Pentagon releases regarding the attacks, Natasha. All right, Emily Finn, thank you for that. I mean Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.